Hi, we're going to look at uh, some uh, foundational number skills. The one we we'll start with is expressing two numbers as a fraction percentage of each other. We've got this question here. It talks about 12 out of 20. And you may be asked to give that 12 out of 20 as a fraction. Here's what you do. The first number becomes the numerator of our answer. The thing it's out of the second number here, that becomes the denominator. So 12 out of 20 is a fraction, is 12 over 20 or 12 twentieths, as it's better pronounced. Now, in the calculator paper, you may well be asked to give the answer as a fraction that's simplest form. And here's what you do. You type in the numerator first, then the fraction button. ABC, or on the more modern ones, it will be uh, two rectangles with separated by the fraction line. And then you press the denominator. Press execute, and there's the answer in its simplest form. Three fifths. But let's say the question didn't ask you to give it as a fraction in its simplest form. It asked you to give the answer as a percentage. So here's what you do. Now, it's important in a calculator paper to show where you're working. You write down 12 over 20, that's the fraction, which you multiply by 100. Yeah, I'll show you that in action. 12, what's that just clear there? 12 over 20 or 12 twentieths times 100. Let's execute and there's the answer, 60%. Now, we'll move on to, let's get rid of all this. Let's move on to the second foundational number skill, finding a fraction percentage of a quantity. So the question is something like this. Find uh, four sevenths of 210. Now, I remind you again, it's important to show you're working. In the area allotted for working, we write four sevenths, that's the fraction, the word of in arithmetic is the same as times. So we write two um, times 210. Then we get our calculator out, just clear that from the last word, four sevenths times 210, press execute and there's our answer, 120. Now this all, the next part, finding a percentage of a, a quantity, depends on the make of calculator you've got. Now we'll look at a basic one, such as I've got. 57% of 400. We write that as 57 hundredths, all percentages, are fractions over 100 times 400. Get the calculator to do the rest of the work. 57 over 100 times 400 and there's the answer 228 now if you've got a newer calculator all you would have to do is this you would just write down 57 find the percentage button press that times 400 and it would give you the same answer so for an older uh, calculator write this number the one in front of the percentage sign as the numerator over 100 times 400 or better still if you've got a more modern up-to-date calculator just type in 57 and then the percentage sign and that's all we have to do now just clear the area for our final foundational number skill changing the quantity by a fraction or a percentage here's a given example increase 58 pounds by two fifths. There's two parts to this. First, we find two fifths of 58. Now remember the word of is the same as times. So we get our calculator to do that. So we type in two fifths into our calculator and the word times, which is the same as of, 58. Press execute. Now, it's given a funny answer. That'll often come up. Your calculator 
If you don't like the answer in the fractional form, then you'll have a button that says S to D or F to D, like this one here. Press that, and it's now showing it as 23.2. It's currency, so we need two figures after the decimal point. Right, but the word was increase. We found two fifths of 58, so all we have to do now, clearly showing our working, is add this number we just found to 58. So you write down 58 plus 23 pound 20, and the calculator would give you 81 pounds 20. What about if the word had been decrease? then you would have carried out exactly the same working until this point here. When instead of it being plus, you would have done minus. So that's how we deal with fractional change. It be an increase when we add the amount we just found, or a decrease where we take it away. Now, what about percentage change? Very similar. Here, look at this question. A decrease. 6,200 pounds by 9.4%. So firstly, we find 9.4% of 6,200. Right, we get our calculator. Type in 9, just clear everything from the previous one, 9.4%. Point four. Now this is an old one, so I have to do over a hundred. And then the word of, remember, is times. So we do times, and then the amount, six thousand two hundred. And do you notice that it's given the answer there? There's, sorry, I forgot what the answer was. Five hundred eighty-two. Five hundred eighty-two point eight or point eighty as we're dealing with currency. The question asked us to decrease 6,200 by 9.4%. So what we do is we write down 6,200. That's the original amount. And we subtract this amount here, the one we just found. Let's do that. 6,200. 6,200. Take away 582.80. Press execute, and there's our answer. 5617.20. Had it been, uh, had the wording been increase, 6,200. By 9.4%, we'd have carried on exactly before, uh, up to here. We'd have found 9.5% of 6,200, which would be in the same amount. But instead of taking it away, we would have added it. Okay, so let's recap. Foundational number skills. We'll need these for all the other skills we're going to look at. We need to know how to express a number as a fraction percentage of each other. We need to find, be able to find a fraction percentage of a quantity. And finally, as we just looked at uh, just a few seconds ago, we need to know how to change a quantity by a fractional percentage. Okay. Thank you for listening. Just close it down. How do I do that?